to the back, she working. She popping in, she twerking. She busting in, she working. Hands on the head, she twerking. Ass clap, she working. She pop the model, she geeking. This life, she be freaking. Tats on her body. And then this chick is tweaking. She going hard and never soft. Lights on, then turn them off. Hair long and skin soft. Attitude just like a boss. But yeah, we working, man. Y'all see what time it is, man. Keep fucking with us, man. Follow me on Twitter, infamous underscore Tony B, Instagram, Tony B312. Check is on the way. I'm gonna keep saying it because it's on the motherfucking way. Interview going live in five. My life, work, 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 work. Push this record. Um, yeah. Actually, the song is what, like a month, maybe a week old. Okay. Um, performed it. The album put you on party. Okay. Um, I've done a lot. I've done two shows with Rich Homie Corn. Okay. Actually doing another on the 25th. Right. Uh, the book at Georgia Southern. Okay. It's storm, so we count to that. Right. Dyersburg, Tennessee, June 1st. Uh -huh. June 6th, Alabama. Yeah. Working on Meridian, Mississippi. Uh -huh. and Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, basically just like host open mics. I'm in rotation and like. 10 venues, 10, actually 10 big venues in Atlanta. Okay. In gentlemen's clubs, sport yeah. bars, clubs. Right. Um, a lot of major DJs behind me. Okay. So, you know, you can go find, look at, check down on YouTube, Stack 5 TV. Okay. S T A C K 5, the number 5 TV, uh -huh. or the Tony B 100. And you see all, you know, everything I've done. Yeah. I, I did home content right. with that bad man. Bad man. When Gucci didn't show Gucci up. Gucci didn't show up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> It's like pretty, it's pretty much, you know, this song is doing good, but I got like crazy singles. Yeah. Um, but everybody's in the same lane, so I decided to take it to the club because people are not really clubbing no more. You can't club off of a lot of music that's being played yeah. in the club, so I took it back to that Florida. Booty bass. Right. Booty you know, bass. Because me, I like to party. Right. That, that, you know, that's what I do. I'm yeah. Hold, hold. Yeah. So if I see my people partying, you know, that, and to my music, yeah, that's that's you know that's big. Yeah, and the thing the thing about it though too, cause like the thing about the South in general, like back then during like the eighties and the nineties, it was just the booty bass. So you talk right. about like Smurf, Kizzy, Splat Pat, you know what I'm saying, Luke, you know what I'm saying, like that whole crew, you Correct. know what I'm saying. So cause obviously the run the scrub the ground, obviously it's Splat Pat. Like anybody like. Ugh, ugh, down south, like it's been in the south since the freaking days. Anytime Scrub the Ground comes on, like folks just lose it. And it was crazy because I was actually at a bar, yeah, and um, they actually played it. So you know, I'm looking at the reaction to the crowd, I'm like, and it was like two o'clock in the morning, yeah. So I called like four producers, and not one could get it, you know, and yeah, either dead or they didn't answer the phone. So uh -huh. I reached out to the guy, uh, which, which we did it was Bizzo Beats, okay out of Augusta, out uh -huh. of Philly. He right. produced for Gucci, Boosie, yeah. Webby, Petey Crack, Benny Siegel, okay. Freeway. Yeah. Um, he had two men like less than 24 hours. Yeah. And so, you know, the whole, yeah. thing, the whole thing, you know, the problem was like, how you gonna get it cleared? And, yeah. You know, I was like, I worry about the legal side. Right. Later, Later you know, like, I'm, I'm a starving artist, so I, right. need, you know, I need something to catch. Yeah. And um, actually put, we broke it on my birthday. Mm. Well, we broke it in March. Okay. Late, late March. Late March, okay. And actually, the guys from Splat Pack commented on YouTube. Right. And so you don't think they're like, oh. Oh, it's like, so that's a good record. What the check at? <laughs> right, right. So, <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> and um, with the song being like a month and a week old, yeah. I 
I at one gentleman club in Atlanta, yeah. I made like 101 spins okay. within a month and a week, and they big. Yeah. So that means that they spend my spa at least two or three times a day. They have to. They don't even open on Sundays. I know. I don't. You know, they yeah. actually playing the song when I'm not in the club. Okay. So anytime you know you got a good record in, you know, like a music industry like in Atlanta. Yeah. You know which. That's full of payola, and you know people pay oh, DJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, it, uh, that's 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 right. don't like. <laughs> right. So you know I haven't broke no bread yeah. on the song, and you know that's just respect, and that the song is catching like that.